How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Syracuse Aviation and today I have a very interesting, pretty different video for you guys. So what you have in front of you is a Zincrot um, United 737-200 by Seattle Model Aircraft Company in the 1-400 scale. Now what we're going to be doing today, very interesting. So Zincrot, if you don't, if you don't know, is essentially what Google says and yesterday's airlines is a corrosion process of zinc alloys um, containing lead impurities and essentially there's nothing you can really do to stop it no matter how you store it so supposedly the moisture or the humidity in the air can really mess this up or hurry the process along a little bit faster um, but this is what it looks like when it's gotten hit pretty bad or when it's been long enough uh, essentially this looks pretty much like Hogan Wings uh, 787 if you look at these wings. So what we're going to do today is pull it apart and just kind of take a look, see what's inside of it. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what's inside, but you know, just still interesting to pull it apart. I've had it for not quite a year. Uh, I got it in June of 2023 in Dallas at the Airliners International Convention. I thought about keeping it this way, but I've had some issues with other models as of late. My Thai A340-500 I had to send back to the seller because it had zinc rot. Um, and I didn't want to hold on to it and worry about that, so I sent it back. I got an A346. <sighs> Let me actually go grab it for you guys because I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not happy about this at all. So I'm not sure if you guys know. Please, please write me in the comments section. I would love to know anything I can um, learn about this. But this is a sweet freaking model. This thing is awesome. All right. Um, so I, when I originally pulled out of the box and for the first few days I had it, I'm like, I, I thought it was perfect. I thought there was no zinc rod issues and still I'm not entirely sure. However, the right landing gear essentially just disintegrated. Well, not really disintegrated, but it snapped clean off, barely touching it. And let's see what I can do here. Pretty much it was still together like it would be on the plane. Um, but it fell off and then today I picked it up to look at it because there's a tiny little crack on it and I applied the slightest amount of pressure and then the two trucks or well this is technically one truck but it split apart as you can see there so I'm not sure if this is zinc rot or like an early sign of zinc rot or if it's just specific to landing gear on some aircraft which I hope is the case but this one was really expensive like 20 bucks more than the uh, 345 that I had a couple weeks ago and I can't send this one back it, it is what it is so it's very unfortunate um, I'm really hoping that it's just a fluke on that specific part of the aircraft the fuselage is perfect All right, I mean there's nothing wrong with the fuselage um, it's solid there's no signs of zinc rot it's beautiful just like I, I would have never guessed if you showed me this aircraft that I would just would never guess that it had zinc rot. So I'm really hoping that it doesn't, but I mean, that's kind of a scary sign with that landing gear because if you look at the United 737-200, like we're here to see today, you can see some of those same cracks on the landing gear. I'm gonna see maybe if I can find some for you guys. I know I saw one earlier today. I was looking at this. Yeah, there we go. On the door and on the shaft a little bit. It is definitely in between the tires. And that's almost exactly what that Thai A340 landing gear looked like. So I really don't want that beautiful Thai A340-600 to end up looking like this. Um, again, there's nothing you can do to prevent zinc rot, no matter how you store it, where you store it, the climate that it's in, it, it is what it is. And I really hope that this doesn't happen again, but, you know, if it does, whatever. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it but, but mope and cry, which is probably what's going to happen. Uh, probably be a very painstaking 
process because it happens very slowly. Um, but we're going to take this one apart, or at least attempt to. I've never really, I mean, judging by the way that that landing gear fell apart, I'd imagine that it's pretty easy to take this apart. So we're going to get after it here, see what I can do. Uh, it's very interesting that it's splitting down, uh, up and down the fuselage, and there's not really a whole lot of cracking going on from side to side. There is a little bit, but I don't know. It probably had something to do with the way that it sat in the cradle for most of its life. Um, I don't know how I want to start this. I guess I'm just going to use this and apply some pressure. That's actually more solid than I thought it would be. Yeah, wow, this is a... Uh, huh. Let's see. I feel bad doing this because it, it is really kind of a cool little specimen. But uh, it's just not... I mean, it's, you know, it's not worth anything. <laughs> no one's going to buy it. People would pay you to take their zinc rot models because, you know, they're just so worthless once it happens. So that is actually really solid. I mean, the tweezers are essentially getting stuck into the metal, which uh, is very soft. Look at that. So, oh, okay. Well, there's a little uh, chip now, so that's maybe some progress. Um... There goes the gear. So I'm sure if I did that to the tie, I did apply some pressure on the other landing gears on the 346 and they didn't go anywhere. So I, I really don't know. I'm hoping it's just a fluke in that one gear. Uh, this gear also just popped off, so that's pretty cool. Pretty sad, but you know, this is like a, a one to 400 scale aircraft demolition. Wow. That is crazy. I wonder if I should just try to break it open with my hands. Like I'm doing the wings here. It's more solid than I thought. It's obviously still very brittle. I just thought it was going to be a lot easier to pull it apart. Now that's that's quite a sight right there. Let's <laughs> let's take a look at this. Okay. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's put these off to the side and I really wanna to get to the center of this thing, <laughs> pretty literally. Um, again, I don't really know what the best way to do this is. I doubt that I can break it with my hands like this. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh, that is weird. Oh, that is crazy, man. Holy cow. Oh, that makes sense that it actually broke right by the uh, cradle. I just never really, oh, this is interesting. Okay, huh. Just being able to see the cross section and how it splits. It's even, it even looks like it's splitting in the center there. If I can grab my tool here, it looks like it's splitting on the inside there. That's very interesting. Guys, oh, look at this. Get a little thumbnail shot here again. Wow, this is really weird. It's so sad too. I mean, it's just so unfortunate. You know, to see a beautiful model in disarray like this, I mean, <laughs> Even the 732, I really like this one, so it's pretty sad. Let's do this again here. Man, that's actually really firm back there. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, it actually does look like it cracked quite a bit more, so I bet we can get this if we really... I wonder if these engines will be okay. I bet they will be. I think they're made of plastic probably, right? So they might actually be all right clean off. Wow. Yeah, I think these engines are plastic, so I might actually be able to salvage those and save them should I need them in the future. Um, yeah, this is really something else. Very unique. 
situation here. This is zinc rot. This is what's inside your model aircraft, guys, that you spend 40 plus dollars on, which, you know, I don't know what more you would have expected, but um, it's just in inter interesting, excuse me, to actually see it. Um, literally what's inside <laughs> of our aircraft that we love so much. Sad. I mean, really, this is into to imagine that happening to to this guy. It already kind of is. Uh, just on the landing gear, though. I really hope it's specific to the landing gear, but I got a bad feeling about it, guys. I I'm not I'm not that confident, in all honesty, which is really unfortunate because this is just honestly depressing to see this. Um, so yeah, as I said, ways to prevent zinc rot. Unfortunately, there's none. Um, there's ways to slow it down or not necessarily minimalize, but kind of procrastinate in a sense, just keep putting it off or, or just make the pain worse as you slow it down and watch it to deteriorate at a slower rate. If you store it in a dry environment where the moisture doesn't get to it as much. This is also apparently a, um, a lead issue with contaminated lead. Um, I really don't know the physics behind it. I would like to, or the, the chemistry, I should say, probably. Um, but yeah, this is zinc rot. So definitely be aware for this. If this is something you're into, <laughs> by all means, go ahead and look for some of these and, and start a collection. But I mean, it's really, this is, I don't know why you would. This compared to modern or really any aircraft that doesn't have this issue, those are a lot better than this. Um, it's interesting to have one or two of these just to have them and see what it's like, but you know, it's it's pretty upsetting to see this. And and I bought this one um, as it was when you saw uh, how it was in the start of the video. Um, and I actually, I didn't even buy it. I got it for free, so that's why I have it anyways. But yeah, that's it. That's what's inside your model aircraft. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Again, if you guys know anything about zinc rot, anything at all, anything about what could be happening to my Thai Airways, a346 please let me know i'd love to know in the comments um it's a very sad kind of a worrying circumstance we got going on here so i appreciate you guys being here today thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one